Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can create variables in Power BI that is very useful to manage DAX code and I will show you an example of before and after comparison as to how the code looked like before and how the code is looking after you are doing the creating the variables. So variables is an important concept and uh, you will find it very useful when you will start using it initially. You may feel like oh why i'm creating this but as your code becomes large you will see that uh, variables providing more best uh, readability and uh, more convenient in terms of uh, structuring the code so that's something i will show you uh, with the help of an example so before i show that just a quick information that this is a live google sheet which uh, you can access using the as it is present in the description so what that mean is you can come over here and uh, and basically search any of my previous video and jump to that video using the link that is present in column B. That will be uh, useful for you. Let's say if you are searching for a specific topic. Also, I want to highlight that uh, some of these dashboards which I published like HR analytics dashboard, organization dashboard or these three or four different dashboards like Twitter, sales, customer analytics, financial complaints. All of this is pre present here so that you don't have to do the search in case you want to learn how to create a dashboard from the scratch. So with that information, let's jump to Power BI. So here we are in the Power BI and I will going to write one measure. So new measure and this measure will going to be uh, this measure will going to basically give you the sales ratio. For example, think about this, you have any category here like product category, customer category, sub product, any dimension and you just want sales ratio in that. That means whatever is the sales compared to the total sales, right? So for that sales ratio, our formula will be like this. Uh, we will first have, we will have the divide. Within divide, we will have to write one uh, uh, formula for numerator that will be nothing but sum of sales right and then we will write another formula that will be denominator that is total sales so in that case we will going to use the calculate and then sum of sales and then we are going to write the all sorry all and uh, we here we will provide the orders that means we are just saying that we want basically all the rows and we don't want any filter impact over here right so we just click it over here so now you see this code what is going on we have this one function inside that another function and then another function and uh, that's how we are getting the output now as a developer or as someone uh, who are pretty used to of uh, you know writing a code like this in a single line uh, you know initially it may look bit uh, daunting because there is so much which is happening so think about it for a, any beginner developer or maybe you know you are looking this code after a few months you you may feel like okay what's really going on and you may have to go three or four times to really understand this and now we will going to see how we can structure this code with the help of a variable by creating three different variables but before that i will just show you the sales ratio uh, view so over here you see that you get the sales ratio in this case also you can change this to percentage so that way it will show you the percentage over here like 32 percent is furniture 31 percent is this 36 percent is technology all right now if you have to structure this code then what i will going to do is i will just delete this okay and i will press um, i will first enter the uh, shift enter to create a new line and we will say var variable that is your variable and the name of the variable is uh, sales equals to sum of sales so this is let's say the first step right as as uh, you would think about it, that we need sales so this is my sales i will press shift enter and I will again write variable total underscore sales equals to we will write using that same function calculate sum of sales 
and we will write all and order right and then i will again press shift enter and uh, we will say where sales underscore ratio is equals to divide function and now we will just simply say sales comma total sales okay press shift enter and simply say it has to end with the return sales underscore ratio right so if you see what's going on over here we are defining sales ratio as this is let's say our step one very clearly this is step two and step three is divide function so so with the jumble of functions instead of that when you do this as step by step using the variables you find much more better uh, readability of code so if i just click ok over here you will see that nothing is being changed over here right it's the same thing so now even if you create another table it's then more about what do you want to create let's say we want to create this table and we want to create a subcategory we want to create the sales and we want to get the sales ratio right so here is the sales sales ratio and where is my subcategory here is my subcategory okay i'll just put the subcategory i'll drag it up so this is what i get one function or one uh, dex formula wherever you want to use it but whole idea oh not this one i used it i think somewhere else uh, where is sales space ratio sales ratio here you go yeah so you get it over here and we have uh, where you go there it is uh, you have this these different variables so earlier if you see in this case right what i did is i created two different formulas sales running total and uh, total sum of sales that is another way where let's say you have two different tax function and then you are creating it but with the help of variables you get much more readability like in this case you have in front of you what are the functions or what are the formulas that is being used you don't have to go to multiple places so this is much more advanced much more better and much more easy way to manage your code so this is what i suggest or i recommend that you do this for your lengthy dex codes where you want to make sure that let's say if you are reading your code after six months or eight months you will be able to do this so very quick example i wanted to show um as to how the code really looks like before you use the variables and after you use the variables so i hope you will find it useful and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic